Okay, CTEP is a Slavo Information Technology and E-Commerce Council. What we do is we are under state government, Slavo state government. Our role in state government and Slavo is to promote the growth of e-commerce and also IT and startup scene. So that's what we do. Okay, for our achievement for the past about four years, we have about 91 uh, e-commerce class up to April 2019. So plus today and then uh, in May, so I think about 94. So we really reached about 300 individuals in startup, e-commerce and tech. The reason why we have this number is, is for you all. If you have any new product, new program, any anything that you want to collaborate with CTEC, we are open to that. But yeah, I mean, there's uh, some requirements to it. But you can reach us. And also we have a major e-commerce conference, Smart City events, and under our program, we have 450 online 100 merchants. Then from here, we convert, we created uh, apps for them. From these 450, we have about 10 to 9 million sales from them, and 85,000 orders. So over four years, we, uh, we facilitate about a uh, GMP of 173 million under our program. So this is the main trust of CTEC. E-commerce education, online 100, apps 100, SDCC. Because some of you still asking me like, do I need to register under this program to, to use a free photo booth? No, you don't. You, you can just come, whether you register or not, just come and you can use the free photo studio. Okay, Trust One E-commerce education. One of it is we are an uh, official training partner by Alibaba Power University, also known as Alibaba Business School. In China, they are using this name, but in, in other countries, they are using Alibaba Business School name. E-commerce education, we have PC class, we have master class, we have this uh, Alibaba course. Master class, we don't have it anymore this year. Okay. Uh, because I replaced it with a new program called Gaming, uh, Gaming Course Game Development Program. So what we so for those who are new, then this is what we I mean these people have been learning for the past I think, 14 class. First is introduction, content, and so this last topic is systematic. I'll skip this. Okay, other than that, all, all the class we recorded, we record and we put it on our YouTube, so if you miss any of those, you can watch our YouTube. And so the slides we, I upload, some of the slides I upload, you can see that in the website. Online 100 is a program where we help merchants bring and water to go online through marketplace through Shopee, through Zazada, 11th Street, I, uh, they are changing their name to Stomor. So, and one, uh, one more is Jubilee. And then from there, once you already have your online store, then we create mobile apps for you, for your own store. Okay, these details you can ask me later or my clean as well. So this is the mobile apps, huh? Android, yeah, iOS. Transport is this area, SDCC. In October or November, we will open another one in Kota Damansara. Also, some of our participants said that ICT is too far, there's no connectivity, there's no train station. Yeah, that's true. But that's why we are opening another one in Kota Damansara where it's just next to MRT station. Okay, we are also a digital hub status and also digital maker. So over here, as this is we have a co-working space, 100 ringgit a month. You can check the price uh, later. Photobook Studio is for free. Photo studio you can use anytime you want, just need to book a slot online. The camera will provide everything, will provide, but you need to do the uh, editing yourself. Arrows Maker Studio is next here. They are, uh, mostly they are doing a program for kids. Okay, e commerce events. We have top e commerce merchant awards coming up again this year, 2019. So the period of this uh, awards comp is a competition is about uh, three months, starting from end of July until July until September. Okay, conference. So all this information we will put we will post in our Facebook and also we'll send some email. Smart City. Okay, other than that, the startup initiative. I'm not going to touch this. Skip.
and this is the new program that I'm talking about, gaming as the program. As you know that like gaming, now mobile phone, everyone owns a mobile phone. So gaming is now it's part of us. If you if you watch Facebook, so you can see that some ads for gaming download this game. Even inside the game, so there will be some ads, the music, the video and all this. So that's why we we come up with this uh, new program, gaming as a little program. It's for you to learn how to play your own game, whether it's 3D or 2D. 3D, 2D is like flat people. It's a very simple game. But they're making a lot of money. Also 3D game, 3D game can be shooting games, can be anything. And this uh, 2D and 3D game you doesn't require you any uh, gaming background or game development. Because you are you'll be using Unity to create this. This is some of our um, industry leaders. Okay. Other than that, other event, other program. So this is the course coming up. Video game development in Unity. This one I'm talking about 2D and 3D game. Because you see now in all most of the mobile apps they have is implement gamification. Even in the education industry, you now kids are learning through games. So you even give your kids what well, iPad to play games, but there might be some indication of ABC. So you can create this on your own actually. Okay, so this is one first video game development with it. Second one is AR game development without coding. This is similar to Pokemon Go. You know how the augmented reality game without coding, meaning that you are using a, a, a system to do it. This one you can create. Let's, for example, in ICT, stop creating a family day for my family. So you can create this and then you can play with your own family. You know, you go to this side, you can implement it in Zoom. We help you from this now. So all this, okay? So the price, when you start at 3000 is a 5 days course. You have to commit to 5 days course. And then, uh, this is why I want to invite you all to Hari Raya program, 4th July, next week, Thursday. If you, if you want to join, you can scan, there's a QR code outside. Just join. And also we have an online 100 certificate award ceremony. How many of you are in online 100 program? Can I see? Yeah, so this so we will give award, uh, we give a certificate to them because they are, they are part of us, and the certificate will be given by the uh, Trivasa Slamo. And then Joke Startup is startup program, so next one will be in August, government funding, do's and don'ts, business matching session. So if you are looking for government funding, you, know, you want to know, then you can join this uh, program. Coming up is SITA uh, e-commerce award, e-commerce merchant award, so we want our big event. So this one we will launch in end of July. Okay, if you are, you know, if you have sales under, oh no, uh, more than fifty thousand a month, you should join your online store. You can combine your website, your e-commerce uh, marketplace store. You can combine across multiple platform, and the number this must be more than fifty thousand. For for those who have two hundred uh, staff and above, you are not entitled to join this. This is only for SME. Okay? And then this is a, a program. This is not giving, sorry, but to change. This is a program by Acubus. It's a sharing session, but this one you have to pay. I think about 30 ringgit. And then we have UOB program. It's free, 18 July. And then this one you can find in our website Facebook. Coming up is Alibaba Global Cost. I'm going to share with you the price is quite high, it's 6,000. But it's a three days program, but this, this program is a little of entering the China market. If you think you have a good product, if you think you have a good product you want to sell in China, these people are always from Europe, and this call will be conducted in my brain because they don't have a speaker yet for this topic. Okay? So I think that's all. Other than that, all the courses available you can find in Internet Business Academy. So this is a website, you can just, you know, you click, then there will be all the courses here. But this is under us as well. Okay? So, review and recap. We have two e-commerce and startups. So this is e-commerce part. This is what we're focusing on now. Okay? Good. Um, what? Check it out. Are we ready? Yeah, okay, come. Now let's give a big hand to our first coach. Thank you. I'll bring that back to you. This is very small, but you have to look at this slide. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay, give give a round of applause for Mr. Salman here. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to start today with a story. Okay, so anyone knows this man? I think now. Anyone know? Dr. Ali Najar. Okay, he's a multi-millionaire from Indonesia. Actually, yeah? he has a twenty-five level of towers. Okay, so he has one tower. So we talk twenty-five level. So. This is one of our consulting client where I want to share a story by him. Yeah? So the first time I met him in 2017, he actually shared one story, very, very interesting story because he was a uh, samurai champion back in Japan before this. Actually, he, was, he was a samurai champion. So what he told me is that uh, during the competition, you know, everyone is looking for the best samurai sword. You know? And then I will try to Google online. You, you, you ever heard about this story? No, right? Okay. So whenever they Google, you know, the first page of Google always appearing the same shop on Google. Eh, when they try to find this one very quality type of samurai sword, like, so to say. So always, always appearing the same company in Google. Yeah. And when they go, because because he was wondering how come this company always appearing in Google, okay? And they, they already assume that this company must be a very big company, right? They must spend a lot because they're already in Google. You, no matter whatever you search for SWAT, they're always there, the same company. So what happened is he go and pay a visit to the shop. He really wants to know the owner. How come he really good at, 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 at Google ranking, right? So you know what he find out? He found out that the shop actually belongs to one um, Japanese old man and he's there alone with his son. It's a very very small shop. Yeah? So it's, it's very, you know, it's not that, that in the town, you know, it's very very um, excluded places. Uh, and he was very surprised. How come this very small, even an old man can actually run in Google for those kind of uh, market segment? Right? Everyone goes and buy from him. You know this? Okay. So this is the kind of thing that actually opened his mind that he knows I really need to change my company into Google Marketing because you know this is the impact that you get. I will show you more of the case study today but then what happened to this guy even though he's small, he has a small company, he's very cool, he just pays someone to rank him in Google and people already think they are running a big big company. Right? You have that, you have that kind of impression also for people in Google. So this was past year when we are consulting them for one whole year in Indonesia. Okay, now today we are Google Marketing Seminar. So I believe some of you did not know me yet. Mr. Salman, will you introduce them? Not yet. Okay, so we'll go through that because I believe that whatever on me is not that important. What important is what you need from me. Okay, so I would like this session to be an interactive one. We're going to have lots of question and answer. So if you have any question, don't afraid to just raise your hand and ask your question. Can you agree on that? Yes? Okay. Shut up, Yes? Yes. Okay. So may I know how many of you did not actually understand Malay here? Raise your hand. You don't understand Malay language. Okay. So you don't understand at all. Right? Okay. Sure. So we try to keep all in English. So these are basically, if you have heard some of these tools, huh? so these are the 12 Google free tools for marketing. This is not for operation, it's not Google Excel, you know? Google Form, Google Email, no. Okay, these are the 12 Google tools for marketing. So these are the ones that we always encourage entrepreneurs to start, try and use. Okay, each of them have different kind of, um, you know, different kind of function that can help your marketing process, okay? so. We will not able to go through one by one of the two. Actually, we are going to have another um, workshop on Thursday. It won't be longer because it's only one hour session, right? So I cannot actually try to focus too detail on each of the two. So you will not be able to cover much. Okay. So, now, just a little bit about me. I'm Shakira Karim. If you are first time meeting me today, I'm actually the first in Malaysia certified as OMCP, Online Marketing Certified Professional from the United States. Okay, and also it's the first certified as uh, certified master in web analytics. If you know what is web analytics, lah, yeah. And also I'm a certified Google analytics consultant, lah, basically. Yeah. 
And how much from me? If you know, if you ever heard about murai.com.my before, have you heard about that? Of, of course, I believe Malay lah. Who the hell know that? Eh? Murai.com.my was uh, one of our past projects. <laughs> oh, I had my friends from Murai. <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> Okay, so Mirror Recorder was owned by Astro. Yeah, so those are my past project. So those are the kind of things that we actually need to build up the content. Dulu lah, eh. What was, there was once that when the Murai is very popular, whenever you want to find any artist, go see it, you know, Murai always come first. If you know Murai lah at that time, yeah, they always come first. Yeah? So just a little bit about me. So I'm running my own agency now, Minatraffic.com. And these are some of our corporate clients on here. So we are consultant for SME, for corporates, and also for um, government agency, and also for uh, entrepreneurship program under university, lah, for local and also international. So these are all three of our clients, basically, yeah, our project collaboration. Okay, so just for you today, just for you today, we are, we are preparing some bonus, just in case that some of the questions is not answered, or you have any other thing that you need from me, eh, you can always join our Telegram group and we are going to actually give you these um, two things, a checklist, a website and e-commerce preparation checklist. So basically, if we are have, we, we already prepared the checklist of what features you need to have for your website. Okay, you can go through that when you are you're going to hire someone or you're going to actually improve your website. And also a social media image sizing. So these are kind of the two things that are most trending now that I believe all companies need to have and need to know. Is it clear? Ready to take that? Okay, if you have time, you can just go, you just type in the link and you're open to a Telegram group. If you haven't registered your Telegram, you need to actually have an account first. Yeah? Okay, we'll come back here later. Just go next first. Now, each one of you have your mobile phone, right? So we're going to do some hands-on exercise together. Yeah, soon. And 5.9 billion daily searches. Is it a lot or a lot? <laughs> a lot, right? So this is what happened daily in Google. Okay, the question is, are you there on Google or not? Because people have been searching, searching for your service or your product. For sure. Okay, just that we don't know what people are searching for, and we don't know how many people are searching for. Correct? Correct? Okay, so if I'm going to show you how to know that, will you want to know? Yes, yes of course, yeah? Let's go. Now, I just skip this one first. So what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to do some exercise. So have you, don't do it now, don't do it now. Answer me first. Have you ever searched your name in Google? Raise your hand. <laughs> Full name. Not a nickname, no. Full name. Raise again. Good, it's like 50%. Okay, good, good. So, whoever that raised your hand just now, okay, do you find that the first page are all about you? Raise your hand. First page all about you. Only six people. Ten. Sure, huh? okay, we're going to see now. Sure. Common name, I'll go into that. Why you cannot use common name, okay? But then we want to try your first name first. So let's try Google, let's try to open your Google.com, yes? Everyone, hold on, yeah? everyone open your Google.com in your phone, use your browser. You know how to use Google, right? I don't need to teach you, right? Okay. So I've been there, someone who need me to teach is okay if you don't know. Okay, so open your Google.com and try putting in your full name. If let's say you are Malay, right? So you should have your father name also included without Bain or Benti. Okay, without Bain or Benti, just your name. Okay, for me, I will put Shakira Abdul Karim. You have a question, is not? You are okay. You appear. So what you are expecting to see? Okay, you want to see the whole first page. Scroll until down. Ah, then also nothing about you. But it's your name, right? It's your name, right? Okay. So scroll until down. So what you are going to do, I want you to count. Okay. Listen first, yeah? For each page, how many results are there on Google? For each page, how many results are there? Oh, nobody knows. You are counting now. <laughs> so for each page, there are 10 results. Okay, for each page, there are 10 results. Either you are on top or you are at the bottom. Or you are not there at all. 
we're talking about your name, personal name. This is a, this is what we call a personal branding. Okay, personal branding. So let's count. I want you to count. How many from the ten are about you? Okay, so you will say like two over ten about me, or ten over ten about me. Ready to go? Count first. Anyone don't even know what to find out? You're confused? Raise your hand. Everyone okay? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You don't have anything. Are you sure? No, no, google.com. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, you need, okay, this is a good question. So you cannot type from the browser itself. You must go to google.com first. It's not the same result. Yeah, you need to google first. Okay, good. Now you type in here, this box. Good. Rita. Oh, wow, your name is so unique. How come it's not? So this Facebook is you? This is not your Facebook? You are Dr. Rita? No. This is not. Okay. So this is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not you. So this is other Indian. Huh? But he's, she's very popular. That's why. <laughs> this is not you. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to ask and you're going to raise your hand. Well, eh? You're going to see who has done this well now. So, who has lower than 2? 2 and lower than 2, over 10. Raise your hand. 0, 1, 2 minute. Okay, majority. Okay. Yeah. Okay, settle down. 3 to 5, raise your hand. 3 to 5, okay, it's getting lower. Thank you. 6 to 8. So you are academician? Yes, I am. Okay. You are you natural? Yes, I was. You are natural, okay. LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Twitter. Twitter. Uh, SSRN, it's an academic paper. Okay. Writing thing. Uh, SSRN, there are two because. Okay, sure. Uh, text linked. Okay. Um, oh, what, what link again? Textlinked.net. Textlinked is for what? 
I was a tax consultant. So. Oh, tax, T A X. Okay, okay, okay. You heard that? <laughs> okay. Um, create mornings. Okay. Uh, Poly U. Um, okay. And comments. I N. E D U. H. So still education. Okay, good. Okay, now that summary thing, yeah. It's more okay. Are you okay? Anyone who are not happy at all? <laughs> okay. Now the good thing is we're going to share with you how to change your result. Okay, as long as you will do exactly what I told you in front. Okay, I'm going to give you the, 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 the step. How to change the first page result for your name. You can change it because the thing you need to know is everything on Google can be controlled. If you want to write, write that down. Yeah? Everything on Google can be controlled. So it's not a coincidence whatever appearing in Google. Okay? Okay, now, if we go back to the two of our top winners just now, if you notice, it's the same trend. Why we're appearing in your Google is basically coming from three important sources. Right? The first one now is yeah, social media, basically. Social media, eh? So the top social media, the easiest one to run in Google are Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, those are the most trusted one from Google and yeah? Facebook and LinkedIn are the most easiest one. If your Facebook and LinkedIn also not on Google, you are in big trouble. <laughs> okay? Meaning you are living in a disguise, lah. you are using other names basically. Okay, there's a personal branding issue. Okay? So then you have other social media, lah. Twitter, whatever have you, what, what else you have? Instagram, if you are using Flickr, you know, no matter what social media you are using, it will help for your personal branding. Correct. Correct. That's, that's why I say it's a personal branding issue. So when you are not using your personal name in your social media. Sorry? Mm. Okay. Um, Madam or Miss? Ivy. Madam Ivy. Okay. Miss Ivy. <laughs> so, uh, Miss Ivy mentioned that people don't usually use their real name in social media. Full name in social media. Um, from my experience, most people are using their real name. Only some are not because they think it's not important. Yeah, full name. That's the issue. Okay, when your full name is so long, then only you can choose. But it doesn't happen to everyone. It's a very small case that people already have this, this full name. That it doesn't fit inside your social media. It doesn't happen to everyone. That, that, that issue doesn't actually apply to everyone. Basically. If you don't have that issue, you must use your real name. Okay, so you need to know the name that you put on your IC. Is it the full name on your IC? There is a Christian together Chinese name in your IC. Okay, now what is the reason? So. Basically, why you, you need to focus on your personal branding is because we are on business, right? We are on the business. So, who do you think might be searching for your name? That's the question. Okay, who are the potential people who will be searching for your name? Who do you think? Your customer, basically, only if they know your, your, your real name. Lah. But rarely, customer know your real name. They know the name that you actually told them. Right? It's because it's the customer. Who else that actually will be searching for your name? In business. Banker, that's good. One. Good, sir. Tax people, that's good. That's all the negative part, yes. <laughs> but who else? Yeah, corporate clients do that. Correct. Correct. It's who referring us by when they know our full name. Uh, but then who, whoever, mostly people who are actually reading our forms. You know, like just now you said the... Bankers, they're reading our form, you know, when you apply something, your vendor, you know, your, who else, um, financial institution, all this grant, you know, uh, those kind of things, okay, um, your partner, your investor, so these people, they will not buy your nickname, whatever name, no, 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 search for this name for me, this is my name, no, they will want to go to search your full name, according to your IC, because this is when you cannot hide who you are. Because we are all that. Eh? So, my name is Shakira Abdul If you know, this is a bit Arabic. It's kind of Arabic. So, I always have conflict before. Yeah, those kind of Arabic. You know Shakira, Shakira? 
Yeah, she always beat me. <laughs> okay. Uh, but then now I already conquer. At this first two minutes is all about me. Okay. And if you see, everything is about you know either my website or social media. This is social media again. This is my certification just now. YouTube. It comes back to my other website, so it's all about that. Okay? Now, all you need to do, this is the action item, eh? Within seven days, okay, within seven days, if you do what I ask you to do today, within seven days, you can see the result change on your Google. Okay, seven days is the minimum lah, yeah? Now, all you need to do is, first thing, you all have social media, right? Whoever here that never use any social media, raise your hand. You don't have anything. Okay, yes, everyone is okay. So, you need to go to your Facebook, for example, right? And you need to actually change your name. You see here? Shakira Abdul Karim. So, this is the link. Facebook.com slash something, right? So, you need to know how to change that. Okay, that is called username. On Facebook, it's called username. If you don't know how to change, just Google. Change my Facebook username. It will be a step-by-step. -step. Okay, change that according to your full name. Without Bin or Benti, you don't need that. Okay? Or if, if you're Indian, it's E slash L, something like that, you don't need that. Just the name. Okay? And all social media, you try to use the same name. Try to use it because Google will actually understand when things are synchronized together okay they must be synchronized together okay online directory also if anything applied to your industry as a professional you can register yourself in using same spelling of your name you don't want to do this yeah on one platform shakira karim another platform shakira chomel for example right another platform is shakira shakira you can do that so everywhere you go it must be the same exact spelling that you're using Mm, okay, good question. If the name is taken, because you have a so popular kind of name, right? Um, <laughs> Mahathir Muhammad. Okay. Uh, that's quite hard actually. Uh, you need to actually have something at the back to add up, to add up, yeah? Because okay, you see this one. Eh? So these are two different things. Okay, this, sorry. this one. It's a profile name, it's a page name, you know? Yeah, this one is a username. So this one, you can have everyone the same one. No, no matter this one, right? This one is a unique thing, you cannot actually duplicate, right? It's, it's very unique. So in that case, if you really can, can't have that, then you're going to add something at the back. But you don't cut it short. Just add something at the back. Okay, but you cannot actually use country in your name. That's the rule now. Country or you know region, you cannot use that. You cannot put Joho in the back. You cannot put that. You already have a, it's inside the bank list of Facebook already. Yeah? Okay. Now, this is Google Images. You see this one? Okay. You you have done this right? A lot, right? You go and take some more other picture, you know? So this is before. This is during two thousand seven. You see Shakira, Shakira? I told you right. So everything is more, more mostly is African, Latin and whatnot, right? So this is after. Now if you search my name, mostly it's all about me or my program or my product or my service. Because all results on Google can be controlled. Okay, there's no coincidence. If you know how to do it, you can control them. Okay. Now, what you want to do, uh, let's try this. You want to try this? So use the same Google. On your phone, you press images on the top of Google, right? You choose images now. Use the same name and choose images. Same name and press images. So let's see who images appearing. This is when the problem always start. When you see someone from your past. It's all about you. The rest, just scroll down. What do you need? So where is it coming from? Link in. Okay, so you have a link in, not clean. So is it about you? One of you. Coming from? Research get. Research get. Okay. Anyone get a lot of you? 
Ya. Tak langsung. Ya, jangan putus asa. God, okay, anyone has your ex-girlfriend appearing? Or ex-boyfriend? Sorry? Sorry? Yeah, could it be also? Which one? Yours. Is it? Is it? So this is coming from Soho.com. Do you... Do you register yourself inside there? Ah, okay, no wonder. Okay, now, okay. Stop first. Okay, focus in front, everyone. I know you're excited, okay. So, okay, pay attention first, yeah? So what happened here? If you notice some of your images are appearing, right? It's coming from a social media platform or uh, online website or something, right? Because someone or you write about yourself using that photo. Okay, someone uploaded the photo or you yourself uploaded the photo using the name, the name that you are searching for. You understand that, yeah? So if you see your, your LinkedIn, for example, LinkedIn usually is very easy to go out in Google. LinkedIn, yeah? So all the, all, all the need to do is, this is what I do usually, yeah? If I write in front, will yang belakang nampak tak? Will the back see this? In the back, did you see this board? Yes. You, you can see this? Yes. Uh, my marker? I cannot use this. Okay, uh, my, my team will take my marker. Okay, so, now, this is what you need to do, eh? Usually, so actually change result on Google this way, right? All you need to do is, all your photos, photos are coming from your laptop, right? You cannot use phone to do this, eh? you need to use your laptop. So, the photos, before you upload it in social media, you need to rename them. Rename. Rename, right? Usually the one, two, three, ABC dot JPEG, correct? So, whatever character that you take from the phone and you just directly, or from camera, you directly upload, right? So, you need to rename the image properly. If you are JPEG, then you need to rename according to your name. Okay, for example, if this is, this is my photo, right? Before I upload, I will rename as Shakira Abdul Karim .jpg. Name according to your name, not rename according to your name. Understand that? Eh? So all these photos will have this name on them when I rename them. But of course, it can be like you know the name, the image photos. Really, can actually use same name across all images, right? It must be unique also. So you can do like Shakira Abdul Karim one, Shakira Abdul Karim two, Shakira Abdul Karim Bahtera. This is my program. Shakira Abdul Karim Digital News for example. You know, you just rename it now. Understand? Eh? Okay, so you need to rename, then you upload. Okay, you can do this in your social media, in your Google, uh, sorry, in your LinkedIn, social media, in your Facebook, you know. Just rename and upload the game. Okay, then automatically Google will actually crawl and grab. Next time, when you open Google, you go to images, then the, the, the images will be nicer. Basically, you can control. So, if you want a nicer image to come in Google, you want something smart, so choose a smart and nice image, rename, and upload on social media. Even you can replace the existing same image also can, but just with a name. Understand that? Do you clear of that? Do you have my marker? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is how I rename. I'll just show you quickly. Yeah? It will be like this, right? This is example then. So there always will be dash in the middle. Of course, you cannot put space, right? So if I'm going to put... I put up this jar, I just raise this Do you need that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So or if you have so many images, you will do like... Shakira Abdul Karim 2 the Japan. You know, just to differentiate each one of your image so you can upload all. Rename, 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 and then upload it to your social media. Okay, you can also do this. If let's say you say, Coach, I don't want to change my social media images. Everything running already, you know. Sometimes it's, it's connected to the post, right? People already like and comment. You don't want to actually remove and replace another photos. So you can do in social media, you can do album. Especially Facebook, that's album. So you can actually create one album. You put the name of your album or something, then edit, edit your gambar, your, your photos, with a proper name. 
That one also can rank. Because you want to rank Google only, right? That's your objective. A nicer image on Google. You can put your product photos, your services photos, whatever you want to put. Understand? If you want for your name. Okay? Now, we go next. The same thing actually apply for your business brand. That's why it's personal branding, right? Now we go into the business brand. So my business, my brand is Mina Trophy, and we want to make sure when you search on Google, the first page are all talking about you. Okay, and it must be a positive one. This is what we're concerned about. We're just afraid that some of them might be negative statement. Okay, you want to try this? All of you have your own brand? Yes. Yes? Okay, try this quickly, one minute only. Google.com, put your company brand by your business name. Try to see what appearing on Google because most cases that we try, they don't even, even try that. They don't know what appearing. There are also cases that people, actually when they search, eh, um, their name is the same as a criminal name. You, you also have a... Okay. So what happened after that? What happened after that? The criminal corner. You're not the one. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but then how to actually build the trust with other people? You know, because it's the same name, right? It's a problem. So by knowing, you know, in case that you don't know what to do, just by knowing that you can explain to people before they ask. They yeah, just know, eh? On Google, it's not me. <laughs> okay? So the criminal name, on Google, it's not me. Uh, I see. But who knows you travel to China? <laughs> okay, so um, that's the thing. Uh. Okay, just knowing first, then do some action if you can. It's not that hard. You just need to do some, you need to be actually, um, you need to actually work for it. Like, just take some start, some start and patient to do it. Okay? So the same thing happened. So what, what happened to your result? So who actually get 9 and 10? 10, 9 and 10, raise your hand. 9 and 10, for your own business name. Good. 3 only? 4. 4. What's your brand name? How do you spell that? T-R-I Triba Triba is travel. Everything is about you. Your company, yeah. Good. Good. Okay. So just check to make sure they are positive. If they are not, you need to, you can use the same technique as before. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask this one question. Ready, eh? How many of you already have a website? Or a blog, raise your hand. You already have now. Okay, good. It's like fifty percent of you already. Okay, you have a website or blog, so you can maximize those using your brand name. Because I noticed that some of our clients, they have a different brand name than their website. So you don't get the benefit of branding over there. Okay, so if your brand is Minatraffic, your domain, your website must be Minatraffic.com. Okay. Now. For your images, for company name just now, right? For images, you can try out at home and see your result for your brand name. Okay, so you can just click on the images part and see. Those things can also be controlled. If people try to find your company brand, what will appear? Okay, and if you know company brand and company name did not, it doesn't need to be the same thing. You know this, right? The brand is something that you want to promote, but this is not branding class, you're going to focus on that. Just note that you don't need to use your company name for your brand. Okay? Okay, now, the easiest way to come out on Google, at least, uh, at least if you have no team, you have no staff, you want to do it alone, please focus on these two things. Just now is the branding on Google, right? Just make sure you rename your photo, you rename your website, social media, and all, so that you appear. The second thing is, when people try to find you using a location, at least you must come out. 
at least lah, it's the worst case. Understand this, eh? So, people try to find like, um, laundry, bangi, you must come out. You know, the location. This is what we call Google Locker. Okay, how to actually get here? You see this one, the address coming in. And so, no, this is advertising, actually. Let me show you the example. Yeah, this one. Okay, Burger Sungai Petani. You see this one? It come out. This is not in the advertising. It's a free result. You don't need to pay for this, right? So you just need to submit yourself in the Google Places. Yeah, the Google directory. It's called Google. I will show, I give you the link just now. Uh, soon, I give you the link. Yeah, but then you need to actually submit your business name. Remember, this is the business name with your location and your industry inside the platform. Okay, I'll go through that in a short while. Eh? What is more? This one, yeah. So what you need to do, okay, this is the Google Places like basically this, this is the new name, eh? the new name is Google My Business. Then you can go to other directory also to actually help you run in Google. Just do this first. It's a simple, simple technique that you can use. Okay, they will ask you to fill in your company name, your address, your mobile number, yeah? your email, your open hour, your close hour. You have seen this, right, in Google? So just go to the first link, you put in all your company details, and automatically you will come out in Google. Okay, it's like claiming your address. The only problem that people complain is when those who are running their business home base, home base from home, so you can actually publish your house, address over here. You don't want to do that. Lah. You can, but I think you don't want because of your privacy, right? You don't want people to come and ketuk you need to rumah and so on. So, those are the kind of thing, the people that actually is quite hard to run in Google. Because you cannot actually get that listing. Lah. You don't have an office to register your address. Okay? Because what happened, actually, you just, the, 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 the step, eh? when you register yourself in here, you can actually use a temporary address or your fake address, you cannot because Google will need to verify your address by sending a postcard to your, to your address. Okay? So just register your address, then Google will take about one to two weeks to actually send the postcard to your address, the, the same address now. Then they will send you a code. You need to put that special six digit code into the system. Then only the address is yours, it's verified. Before that, anyone else can claim your same address, huh? Got to claim the same, claim the same business. Understand that? Eh? Am I going too fast? Okay. Now, I go next first. Now, this is Bill Gates. Yeah. It's a physical postcard. Yes, it's an old style. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Okay. So, what is what did Bill Gates say here? In today's world, if they can't find your website, your company doesn't exist. What exactly did Bill Gates mean? Anyone want to try? What does he mean, basically? Nobody can see if you what? You don't have a website. Okay, Lagi? Anyone else? That's good, try. Yes? Sorry? Your business doesn't have an identity if you work. If you don't have a website, okay? Other? Uh, if a potential customer search for business, hmm? they can find you, then you will not be any If potential customer, prospect, like you're saying, a prospect search for you, where did, where did they search? Uh, Google. Google, okay, that's exactly what it means. Okay, bagi tepukan to our friends. Mr. Okay, eh? Najib. Nazim. Mr. Nazim. So what happened here is, Bill Gates doesn't say that you need to have a website because most people have. But what he really means is that if you're not appearing on Google, you have a website or you don't have a website, but if you're not appearing, people will treat you as not exist. Is that true? But again, it's your own experience, right? When you heard some name, you see on the billboard, or you see a Facebook advertising or something, what do you do first? You Google. Betul ke tak mamat ni kan? So you can be a scam or something. If there is not appearing, then you say what? Scam. This must be a small company startup ni. No, they don't have any money yet. So this kind of first impression that you'll get today. Okay, so let's try to see this one. I'll just go through a few case study quick, quickly. 
um, we go through a first impression of online present. Okay, then I show you why it's important, and I show you how to actually um, get a conversion out of it. Because, because okay, now this is the thing. No matter what platform you use, Google, ke, Facebook, ke, again, what matters is the conversion, right? If people buy or not. Because the platform is nothing if people don't buy. So I need to show to you with you some of our case study of the data. So please, please, please be prepared to see some data. In fact, I hope you're not going to be feel dizzy or something. Lah. Yeah, so I'm going to show you a few data. Yeah? So what happened here? Just quick one, eh? first impression. When people see this one, this is a, this is a banking website. Yes? Banking website, right? So you see these four things. I just want to ask you, eh? routine number, low stolen card, contact us, and financial calculation. For this business, what are those four things? Security. Lagi, what other thing that you call them? What What are these four things for their customer? Is it a service? Part of the service, or what do you call that? Windows. Sorry? Windows. Windows? Mm, almost. Availability. Routing number, low stolen card, contact us, and financial calculator. calculator. Those are the FAQ for the customer. Correct? These are the things that people call me and ask every day. Okay? This is a common problem faced by your customer. So any issues or problem faced by your customer should be in front in your website. That's what we call first impression. You need to answer your customer problem first before selling what you want to sell. Okay? You need to know what are the things that people always ask you. Okay, and thank you. Go next. Internet banking, personal banking, small business for other bank. So what are these three things for the this bank? What does it mean? Services. Yeah, services, but what kind of services? Program, sorry? Online, yes. But what type of services is that? Very good. Most popular services. But most on demand. But the one that you want people to focus on. Okay? Most converting revenue for your company. So those things you need to focus in front. Okay? So when you want to structure your website, there are ways to do that. To structure the content. You cannot like, pass to your designer and let it like, janji siap. As long as it's done. As long as it's nice, the design is very hanky panky you have this kind of flying around things on your website, then you're happy. Okay? It has a content structure that you must follow, yeah? What important for your customer is important for you. Okay, not the other way around. Okay. Apply for a loan. Become a member, location, contact us two days straight. What is that? Directly. Also, I thank you. But different bank, different problem, you see? Because you need to analyze your customer problem. All business have different kind of problem that you're trying to solve for your customer. Agree? Agree. Even though you are competitors, it should be a different kind of problem statement. Now, this is one of the website that we rebrand. Yeah, we are, we are rebranding them. If you see here, what is the business of this company? Some of you already know the company, lah, yeah? It's not fair. Education. But do you see any education in front? There's a book inside, lah. Okay, so there's no way seeing what they are doing, right? So it's very, it's very, you know, how to say this? Eh? Um, as a user or as a first timer, when you visit the website, you don't really know. It is called apa? Is it a primary ke, secondary ke? Is it a kindergarten? Yes. Correct. At the top? Yes, in both world, but but you know when you know who is Brandy Bunch, then you can say that lah. But those who first time who never know what's Brandy Bunch, you know, so they will not know when looking at what is Brandy Bunch, how to success, you know. When you know, then you know it's a key together lah. Of course, okay. okay. Now you just see this. How of how do we brand them? Okay, you see what the difference? 
Can you see the education part come in? The kindergarten, you know, the Montessori, the... Um, this is what we call the value we are offering, lah, basically, you know. And all the things come up on top, the menu, you know, kindergarten, secondary, primary school, they have this in Cyber Jaya. We have a very big building, and why are you not showing it? You know, so this is a kind of branding. It's the first impression, right? When you go in, wow, it's a very big school, it's very nice, you know? You have a different kind of branding to the company, correct? So this is the kind of impact you should get from digital branding. You understand that, yeah? So we are going to move into appearing on Google. But then, if you appear on Google only, when people click and come to your website, you don't, and you only have this, then you don't have the conversion also. Understand that? Yeah? Because Google is not about ranking. It's about converting from Google. Right? Converting from prospect from Google. Okay? So you need to have this kind of impression. Now, can I please... Okay. Is there a song? Just to play, if it's can, if I can play this. If not, I'm going to skip first. Eh? Can I? Okay, I just skip first. So, this is actually a story shared by one of our prospect, basically. Eh? So he, this is one of other other client, which is a bit uh, development, a, a project development line. It's a project development company where they are trying to sell a house, uh, a house of a value of one million dollar uh, one million ringgit. So what happened is this guy, she she actually shared his experience because he was very surprised. He go to this, this website, yeah, this is our project website, that he actually can actually know everything about the project, yeah, from the price from the uh, venue, the location, all the information are complete in the same page, yeah? uh, inclusive of the virtual tour and whatnot. So without actually go to the premise, you can actually see everything that he needs to know about the project. So it's very surprised that uh, you know, a development company can actually prepare something like that. So I will show you the website uh, later. Yeah? Just, I'm going to skip this one. Okay, now, this is an e-commerce website, so we are in e-commerce session, right? So this is an e-commerce website. Uh, he is selling, this is the owner is uh, Mr. Kamaru. He's selling, this is a uh, Tudong, what do you call this? Tudong Labo, it's a uh, Turkey something, lah. Tudong Labo Turkey or something, it's a, it's a, it's a Muslim meeting. Lah. So what happened is, all he do, all he did is to make sure Whenever people try to find the to-do on Google, he appeared in first page. Okay, that's all he did. He does eh? So I hope people try to find the to-do, to-do, to Turkey. That's the thing in Malay, right? It's a, it's a long shot, Turkey long shot. So if people try to find it, he always on the first page. So you see this. So this is the data I'm, I'm sharing now. Because, you know, everyone can talk so much about them. But without data, you don't have anything to prove, basically. Eh? So this is this is a data a report coming from Google Analytics. How many of you have is using is currently using Google Analytics? Raise your hand. Google Analytics. Okay. So five of you understand what I'm talking about, lah. <laughs> okay. Rest of you, please pay attention because this is the this is a compulsory thing you must have when you have a website or a blog. Okay, it's a compulsory thing. Yeah. So now. This one, they give a, a, a general report comparing our traffic sources, meaning from where people actually come to our website. Okay, you see the first one, social media. The second one is organic search. This actually means Google. Okay, Google free, that you don't need to pay or anything. Direct meaning people actually go and type your domain. They remember traffic.com and they type in. And referral is people who coming from other websites. Okay, for example, from Mudah ke, yeah, from other websites lah, basically. Yeah. So if you compare here, which is the biggest traffic coming in? Social media, right? 7,000. Google only give you 3.7, 3.7, not that much. This is double from here, correct? This is a business selling agriculture, agriculture kind of tips, yeah, this tips, it's a blog. And they're also selling um, product, 
you know, product to actually plant things and so on. So you see, eh? this is this is not even their launch. Their launch on 2014. This is 10,000, this is 50,000 now. It's a one year time. Eh? When they launched, they started at 20,000. This is 2015. And this is, you see, okay, this is one month. Eh? On one month, they can actually get 45 people, 45,000 people coming to us on one month. Yeah, by using Google only. Okay, just they just make sure that when people search for their product, you know, tanam pokok something, tanam tomato lah, you know, all these kind of trending agriculture keywords, they appear in Google. Yeah. So you see, they've been trending over time. You know, so traffic they're always increasing. There are certain days that they peak because it's a trending base lah. Yeah? So some keywords become popular on some days. That kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, you see, yeah. So. This is Kepambanda again, and they are very active on Facebook also. I just want to see the comparison. No, I'm not saying that social media is not good. Don't get me wrong, eh? Because I'm using both. We just want you to know what you are missing from Google if you're not maximizing that. Okay, because social media is, is free and easy, but it takes lots of effort to have this kind of impact. But Google, you need to take a little bit of effort to push yourself and you will be here. Ready, eh? You see this one? This brand, they has a Facebook like cost of 40 foot, 42,000. This is, maybe for you it's not that much lah, because I know you are more popular than this, right? So they have a group members of 120k members. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. And then you go to the website and you see which platform actually converting the most for them. You know, they are doing all this marketing, you know, they are very active on Facebook and so on. And they do something, some other thing to come out in Google and you see this one. Okay? You see the comparison? 50% of traffic is coming from Google free. How much is coming from social media? With all this effort, you bring 32%. You see that? Why? Why is it Facebook market does not actually come to the website? Why? Correct. Facebook? Correct. Correct. Even though they're active, but then this is the mindset of people, yeah? So they are, they, we, we call this syndrome 2M. In Malay, right? In Malay, it's a 2M syndrome of people at Facebook. What is the fifth syndrome? The first M is malas. No, lazy, yeah? The second M is manja. Okay? Syndrome 2 M, malas and manja. When you are on Facebook, automatically you switch to become that person. That's why on Facebook, even though you give a price, people still ask for that price. Right? That's happened a lot. When you give all the data, people still ask you, what, what is the program date? What, where is it? What time is it? You know? Even though you already give all the information already. Because people have this syndrome, please understand. Okay? When, when you are on Google, your mindset's changed already. I need to find information, I need to research. So you are ready to actually go for a long reading, you know? You're ready to read the blog, you're ready to make some purchase. Because when you search for something, you really want to buy that. It's not like Facebook. Okay, that's the different mindset. So Facebook is good for branding. Facebook is good for viral things, to get engagement, but usually not for converting. Especially of your, if you are on service industry, not product. Okay, especially on your service. Service, you really need to focus on Google. Okay, so now, this is a development project I shared before. It's called roundacity.com. It's a new project. How many people have heard about this? Roundacity.com. You heard about this? So this, this is based in Cyberjaya. Okay, so this is what happened just now when I shared to you with the case study. Okay, now, this, this is more data. Are you okay to you go through data? You okay, right? Okay, so data talks about everything, right? So this is what happened to the, the to the property. Yeah, you see, yeah? just want to show you this. So these both of these are coming. Okay, this this is coming from Google. You know this already, right? Google free search. And this one, what happened? We are paying for an advertising on one of mobile apps. It's a popular one. You mentioned. I don't need to mention that. Eh? It's a very popular one. So they have like one million or ten million. Um, uh, no, it's a 10 million active users monthly. Ah. So it's a very popular app in Malaysia. Eh? So we are paying advertising 
in with them lah. So this is advertising on mobile app. This is Google search. See that? Eh? This is for I, I believe so one week, one week punya one week punya period lah. Yeah. So this one bring thirteen thousand users. It's a lot, right? Coming to our, provided that this is a property website, it's a lot. Yeah. So this one only bring two thousand. It's very small. Correct. Now let's see about the conversion. So Google bring forty seven conversion. Where she fill up the form, okay, for the property. This one bring forty one. So who wins? Even though this is very small, you know, is it not even comparable? Right? If you just see here, if you don't actually try this conversion, you never try this. You see, well, this is very good. Continue pay, pay, pay more, pay more. No, you know, we invested almost two hundred k. This is just a. Yeah, no, it's a mobile apps advertising. When you open the mobile apps, you will get our advertising. Sorry? Uh, not here. Okay. <laughs> it's not a problem of the app. That's very good because they can actually bring so many traffic to us. Okay, because in business, especially in a, big, in a new name, it's a new brand, right? It's a property company. You actually need to look on the branding side also, not just a conversion. You know, we need for people to know us, you know, even though if they're converting, it's okay. So basically, our aim for this is a branding. Correct, but then that's how that's how most um, company advertising structure lah, because they offering that they have, they are offering by impression. Oh no, okay, yes, uh, but then the problem is um, this one involve cost, right? So they are charging us by impression. So when the impression finish, we need to stop lah. Uh, okay, that's already have uh, they already use all our budget lah. Mm. So we cannot choose actually how long we want to run. We can just be choose the impression how many people want people to see our product. Then by then they will stop. Okay. So, so those are the kind of option that you have for marketing basically. But then, do you know how to track the result? That is a question. Because most people, when you're paying for advertising, you don't know how to track them back. You should to convert them. You it's not. How to compare them? You no. Know, even though you are doing something free or something paid, you need to know how to compare. Okay, so this is a traffic. Just people coming in doesn't mean anything until you see this one. Understand that? Eh? So you need to know how to track and measure things properly. Okay. Okay. So now this is where I'm going a bit more details. Detail, eh? Just a little bit of detail. I'm comparing my Facebook advertising. Yes, now, eh? mobile apps, Facebook advertising, and Google. Yeah, the free one. As you know, meaning the Google free one, right? Eh? Without actually going there for the paid one. So I just want to see the cost for each prospect that we need to spend, yeah? So this one is RM. Correct? This one is RM43. Of course, SEO, it doesn't have a direct cost. It's zero, but then you need to actually have a proper website. You need to learn how to run in Google. That's there's another investment lah, you know, either you hire people or you train people, but it's not direct impact to the campaign. Okay, once you are on Google, you get this. See this one? Huh? This is still okay because it's still cheap, you know, you compare it with this. Alright, but this is again, we are doing this for branding purpose also. But usually, for a, a normal, you know, if you are a startup or you are selling, you don't need to go big on branding. Just focus on conversion and sales. That's what I do also. If a big company, yes, you have budget of 400,000, then you can do this. Okay, you can go for branding and all, but you don't need to do this. So, we need to say, do not actually just go for, oh, I want many people to come to my website. This is what people want the most. Because most of our clients, they don't know what that they want. Okay, they say, I want many people to come to my website. Or you want many people to convert to become your customer. It's a different thing. Understand this, right? So, you don't need many people to come to actually convert, you see this one, not that many, but you can convert better than the one that actually bring more. Okay, so more people doesn't mean more conversion. Understand that? Eh? So you need to know how to track things. So I'm going to skip this one first. I'm going to show you some other thing. Eh? Oh yeah. So now uh, this is our VIP list. Okay. If you want to go and become our VIP list, you just need to register yourself by today, quickly, 
just go to the link, it's anitashafik.com slash VIP, you'll be into our list. You just need to actually fill in your name and email, and automatically when we have any new tips or this free strategy, we're going to share to our, this is our first list that basically going to get our news. Yeah? So just register yourself inside for any latest digital marketing technique. I'll give you some time. If you want to do it now, you can. If you have time, just quickly go in. Okay. And now, just a quick one, because this is very important for you. Organizers, that will be there. So I just want you to notice. Um, sorry, let's try again. No, we're going to actually have all this discussed back on the next Thursday. We have another workshop. It will be a bit longer. It's a one day workshop. This Thursday, that one, we can focus more on all this stuff, yeah? But then, Okay, this is the thing. If you are going to develop a website, yeah, we will recommend you to use this platform, if possible for you. If it's a corporate website, you're using WordPress. Okay, if it's e-commerce, I will recommend you to use WooCommerce platform. Okay, so notice that eh? platform will determine if you can rank on Google or not. You cannot simply hire someone to do website, and you come to me and coach. Make me rank in Google. Not everyone I can do. Okay, it depends on the platform that you are using. So please use the right platform first to make it easier for the next step. Okay? You can do it yourself, the website, you can hire people. Um, you can actually we also have a website for clients, but on certain condition, we have certain condition. Um, but then just go through this platform if it is possible for you. Okay, if you have any question, later time at the back at the booth, yeah. So now you can take picture, you can take picture how much does it cost to start, basically. Eh? I'll just give you a summary of things. Okay, you can take pictures first. So how much does it cost to really start your website? Because everything on Google start with a good website. Okay, so there are three things over here. It's a domain, it's a website, it's a hosting. You need all these three things to have a good website. I'm also giving you the link so you just go to the link to get what you need. Okay? It's a very, very valuable information that usually people don't want to share with you. This is how you're going to make money, right? Okay then? Okay, okay. got it? So we're going to share a few of this information in our Telegram group later. Eh? So if you really need those information, make sure you are in our Telegram group. Remember the Telegram group just now? We're going to share all this information. So this is our CIMP program that we shared just now. You can get the brochure at the back at our media traffic booth. Yeah? So this is the integrated digital marketing program yeah, that those case study that we showed just now are joining to get those kind of results. So it's inclusive of everything, eh? the website, development and blog, ranking in Google, tracking and analytics, study, tracking and measuring, advertising with Google and Facebook advertising, social media marketing, email marketing and image design. You can get the book, the device at the back. I just want to share with you the last thing. Yeah? Hold on, yeah? So those, these are other things that we're going to share on our main, uh, workshop on workshop on this Thursday. Yeah, this Thursday. There's an offer at the back. So now, this last part, you need to have, this is a website, right? You see this one? One thing I forgot to mention, eh? you need to have a website with a blog. You see this one? Okay? So if you want to hire people to actually do this, you need to mention I need a website with a blog. It's not a blog spot. You don't want to use a blog spot for your business. Okay? Website with a blog, and when you go to the blog, you will see something like this. It's still inside the website. It's still going out. This is a modern blog style, lah. it's a modern style, okay? And, okay, so basically on Google, there are two types of marketing. You can either explore on the free one, which is SEO, or you can explore on the paid one. We have explored both, and we, are, we also have a workshop for both, actually, okay? Yeah, okay, so good question, conversion rate. Um, of course, uh, this one will always be higher conversion because you don't have a direct cost. But this one will take time to get there. Okay, it will take time. So this one is faster. 
But then, um, if, okay, this is not fair to be compared because it's free speak. But if I compare between this one and Facebook advertising, you know, Google advertising and Facebook advertising, this one is much, much cheaper. The cost per customer is much cheaper than the Facebook one. Depending if you get the right keywords, of course. Because on Google, you have to go by keywords. If you get the right keywords, they will be cheaper than your Facebook advertising. Not for today. Okay, but you can discuss later. Eh? Okay. Now, this is important. Sekejap, yeah. So, the organizer. So, this one is the free as you see this one eh, on Google. If you see anything on Eclan, this is AD, yeah, the, the sign of AD, or it's a bit yellowish. This is advertising. This is advertising this is a free one. It's a different technique. If you pay in Google, you will appear here. If you don't pay, you will appear here, the top 10 here. Okay, so you can choose whether you want to pay or not pay. Different technique, different workshop, basically, and different requirement for that. Yeah, if you really want to go here for free, the one I shared just now, all my case study, you know, so you need to actually have a good website first. Then only you talk about Google. Okay, so again, just a reminder, we're going to actually um, uh, wrap this up. Yeah? So this is my telegram again, whoever I didn't get, get it just now, just please join the telegram so we share all this time of the slide inside also, all the important information and all the tips inside that. Okay, so telegram crew. And you can also visit our booth at the back, yeah? Okay? Then? Okay. And this is our offer for today. Basically, we are running this workshop. This is the first time we are running this workshop, basically. So, this is a small workshop. Because usually our program starts at 1200 per pack. So, it's very expensive, I know that. So, we try to do something a bit cheaper for SME. So this program, each session is will cost you 250 ringgit basically. So two of these already, this already passed, and eh? this is last week. So this is the this this Thursday topic. We were focusing on the same thing also, but it will be a one day topic. Knowing your trending content, how to actually search for trending keywords, trending topics, and how to build the social media content, and also how to use the six Google marketing free tools for your business. Yeah. So these two will be happening on Cyberjaya or next this Thursday actually, one whole day. So the offer for today normally on online. If you go and register online, you will you will be charged four hundred for two sessions. That's only for too cheap already. Eh? We already give promotion, but today only we're only charging three hundred and fifty. If you register today only lah, but tomorrow onwards you can actually register online. But it will be four hundred for two session. Okay, so if those who really want to go in depth on Google and content, then this is the best thing for you lah, for now, from here. So, you can get the files also at the back of the counter. So with that, so this is just our pass, pass, pass. Yeah. So with that, I thank you very much. Assalamualaikum and good evening. Okay, thank you quite. Guys, you, the class is two hours. But now it's like 3.25. Since is the last class, I think we will finish a bit later today. Is it okay? Yeah? Okay. Uh, well, easy class series is this is the last one. You don't have it. If you want, you're going to attend, then you should attend this big class. Huh? If they give you some, you know, free news, free education, then you should start paying. Huh? Okay? Okay, Charles, you can, um, you can have the mic first and we get things to set up your computer. Okay, you can introduce yourself as teacher. Hi everyone. My name is Charles. I'll be I'll be I'm the last guy for your food, I would say that, yeah? I was looking at the food outside there and I was thinking like, should I eat first or should I talk first? first. You know that kind of thing. Very good setup. Okay, I'm going to ask you a very important question. I'm supposed to end, I mean the event is supposed to end at 4. The food is ready. You want me to end at 4? Or you want to give me one hour? One hour. Wow. I want to cry already. <laughs> Okay, I brought my camera crew. We are doing some documentary on myself. So don't worry about that, is that okay? Uh, this is just uh, something about me. Alright, should we get ready? I'm going to do a lot of hands on, so I'll be running around. Is that okay? Yes. Alright. 
Okay, okay, thank you. Um, take out your phones, uh, take a lot of photos, uh, take a lot of videos, it's okay, you can take anything you want. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Charles. Uh, my name is Charles Gregory, but that's not important. The important is, do you all trust Google, right? I mean, this now, uh, Paul Shakira is talking so much about Google, I'm sure you all believe Google right now. After this, you won't believe anymore. <laughs> I'll stand here. Is Google the most handsome man in Malaysia? <laughs> this is the Google most handsome man in Malaysia. Just, just Google. Just, just, just Google this most handsome man in Malaysia. What do you say? Google, Google. I'll, I'll read with you. Yeah, I'm just wise. I mean, slow. I'm pouring a little bit here and there. Most handsome. Man, my internet is good yeah, because I remember every time I come here, the internet doesn't work for me. But does it work for you? Yes. No? Some? Yes? Yes. Okay. My internet is not working for me. Oh, goodness. Someone, I need your help. Can I have the internet, please? No, I'm looking at the video now. I'm shy. Do you all see me there? Yes. Alright? Go, go to second page, you also see me. So now, do you still trust Google? No. Do you still trust Google? No. I went there and some that Google has to give me uh, this location, this location, and then if you scroll to the next page, you know, if I scroll to the bottom, what do you see? I mean, if you scroll to the bottom, you see more, right? So that's a little bit about me. That's it. I will, that's, that's not what I will talk about myself. But I was thinking what to share today because Google topic is so big. So I was thinking, instead of just giving you a skill set, how about if I give you a skill set and a method to make money? Is that okay? Okay, how many of you want this? How many of you want success, more freedom, and more money on the internet? Yeah, sure, friends. You want this, right? I'll definitely show you today how you do it. So, disclaimer, I've done it. I've uh, taught a lot of people to do it. And it all depends on you, your dedication, your background, your desire, your motivation. I do not own Google. However, uh, just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm quite good at Google, just to show you a little bit of things. Uh, because I believe in results, right? There are many, many, many digital marketing company in the world, in Malaysia, right? Do you agree with me? Yes. Do you know how many positions are there on the first page of Google? Ten. ten. Good. And out of ten, if I can rank number one, am I quite good? Yeah. Yeah. Or page one. So if you can see me, let me see how I go down. Ah. If I scroll down a little bit, out of so many competitors that we have, if I'm ranked number one here, am, am I good enough? Yes. That is my company, yeah? Digital Marketing Consultancy. You can Google e-commerce training. You can Google SEO training on Asia. You can Google a lot of Training, anything that's related to digital training, I am probably number one, top three. I would say top three. I don't want to say number one later if something happens. Page one, top three. <laughs> so I know I'm quite good at what I do, and I want to teach you how to do it. And if you realize my my Google actually have number of searches on the top here. You realize that? And my Google also have related keywords here. You realize that? So if you know how much or how many people are searching for you on a monthly basis and you rank any keywords on the internet, will you get a lot of businesses? So I'm going to teach you this. This is free method, yeah? yeah? You don't have to pay me anything. What I want you to do is, uh, because I don't have time, you can just write it down. I'll write it down for you. If you realize that if I scroll down, these are all the rated searches. Okay, all the rated searches that, no more, no more battery. Okay, hold on. All these are related searches. Do you see it? And then you see the number of searches here. So that is what it means. So, if you want to do SEO, I want to focus a lot on SEO today simply because it's one of the most powerful skills. Unlike Facebook, social media, it's like Pasamala. You know what's a A night market. You walk in, you see something nice, you buy on the internet. Is it fair enough? But when it comes to Google, everybody who uses Google has an intention to buy. 
or intention to look for information. I'm not interested in looking for information. If I will look for, like for example, who is uh, Prime Minister Najib's first wife, name, is there anything to buy or sell? That's information, nothing to buy, no transaction. But if I were to key in things like, what's the latest iPhone 10 price? What's the cheapest price of iPhone in Fiji? Uh, how much is the flight ticket to Makati in Philippines? I have an intention to buy. Do you understand what I'm saying? And most of the time, do you go to page one, page two, or page three? Most of you go to page one, right? So that is important. So I want to teach you a simple, easy method to know how to rank on keyword, how to rank on Google, and at the same time, do a lot of business on the internet. So this is what I'm going to do. There are three things on Google, on SEO, you need to know. Number one is keyword research. Keyword research means when you type in something, do you realize that Google actually auto-complete for you? Because of this, Google is a woman, <laughs> not a man. Because before you speak, you end the sentences, your wife, my wife, will know what I'm saying. Very smart, very intelligent. So I'm going to get a one example. Anyone wants to volunteer? Someone in the front, maybe. Any, any businessman? Free. I usually charge a lot of money. But trust me, today I get for free. Anyone? What business do you do? <coughs> okay, so what, uh, how, how will people search for your business? You see, a lot of people, if you put your brand on the internet, if people don't know your brand, will you be found? No. Most people will go generic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like digital marketing, they don't go for my brand, they will go for something generic. So this is something that you need to know. Uh, besides ticketing, maybe, how, how will you find you? So what keyword do they key in? Ah, interesting. Uh, your business is very unique. So let's 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 go to another someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about Asia today. Anyone else? Anyone else? Quickly. What any business? Any 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 kind of business? Yeah man. How do people search for you? What business do you do? Okay, how old people, what kind of cosmetic do you do? Lotion Foundation. Lotion Foundation. Okay, do you supply or do you sell to end users? Sell. Where do you sell to? Malaysia or outside country? Both. So let's say, let's say she's a cosmetic supplier, am I correct? So if I were to Google something like, oh, cosmetic company in Malaysia, packaging, ingredients, manufacturer, do you see how Google is coming up? And if I go in some of supplier, do you see how Google is coming up? And let's say you do it in whole Malaysia, do you see how it's coming up? Do you understand my concept now? So rule number one, you must have autocomplete in your search. Is that okay? Rule number one, when you scroll down, when you scroll down somehow, okay, you get a lot of other related searches, like all this. This is how people are searching for you. This is how all of this is called a keyword. Are we good? This is called a keyword, are we okay? So one keyword, everything, you copy all this, you put into your Excel sheet. You understand the concept? Just put it in an Excel sheet. Now I'm gonna tell you why your website cannot rank. All your websites cannot rank on Google simply because you talk about yourself. You see, Google doesn't like you talking about yourself. For example, if I were to talk about cosmetic supplier, and then when I Google this, and I click on the first website, and I read something like this, welcome to my website. I'm a cosmetic supplier. I'm the number one cosmetic supplier in Malaysia. All my products are halal. And the founder is a woman of age 55. Let me talk about her. Her name is Fatima. Fatima fought in the World War One and World War Two, and uh, she was very strong. She didn't die, and she built this company from ground. Today, she has 50. Do you really care? Why is all websites built like? You know what's an authority? If you are an authority on the internet, if you are an authority on the Google, Google will force your website to be ranked number one. All my keywords on training, especially on digital marketing. Facebook, chatbot, 
SEO, e-commerce are all ranked number one, page one. Why? Because I give so much content and value to people. I don't talk about myself. I give value to people. Again, show you a good example. E-commerce training. Okay. Now, if you don't believe me, you think I hack Google, you also can use your phone to double check everything here. Yeah? I'm a very performance oriented person. If I target, then I will teach you. Is that fair enough? So, e-commerce training, there are four advertisements here. That is what we call Google Ads. You pay for money to rank on the top. Are we good? I'm not going to cover that today. One hour, too much time. But let me scroll to the bottom. You see me number one here. So I click this and I wrote a 1,000 word article. Every single keyword that you identified or just now remember, you put it in an Excel sheet and you have to write at least minimum 1,000 word. If you want to find overseas market, Minimum 1,500 words. In Malaysia, 1,000 words is good enough. Then you might ask me, Charles, who wants to read? Nobody cares. True. And I agree you 100%. Digital marketing is not to attract hundreds of thousands of people. Digital marketing is to eliminate everyone else and focus on who wants to do business with you. If someone sees my price, a lot of people also say, oh, I don't put price. Your competitor can go cheaper, you know. I say, let them be cheaper. They know their value. I'm expensive. Does it make sense to you? I'm expensive. So, if I'm expensive and I write a 1,000 word article and they go and read and read and read and they read so much until they're so tired and then they say this. Interested to join? And when they fill up the form, means what? They're interested. They're willing to pay for the price. They read everything and then they fill up. My company, seven, eight staff are following up on sales. I don't have a target marketer, I don't have a salesman. Every single one of my businesses come from Google and Facebook. Does it make sense to you? You understand the concept now? Write as much as you want, add value, then collect information, then you do it. So do you understand how to do SEO now? Yes. Very simple. Focus on your business niche. Focus on your business niche, see what is happening, see what people are doing. I'll give you one more. Anyone? One more? Business, consultant, free, cheap, today? Yeah, shout your business. Korea. Sorry? Korea business. Korea? Oh, Korea. Korea. Okay, don't worry about that. So you have to understand, you have to think not on yourself. Because in our business, we will know our business exactly. You have to be very specific on the internet. What do you do? How will people search for you? So if I want, what do I want to do? Your job is to solve your customer's problem. Okay? So on the internet, what would I type? What would you think I would type? Sorry? Maybe freight forwarding in Malaysia, in KL, in PJ. Does it make sense? As I type in something, it already comes out. Do you see that? Does it make sense to you? So I just click randomly here. Yeah? Again, I don't really have time to sit with you to understand the keywords, but when I do things like that, hopefully the internet is okay again, you will see at the bottom all the searches that is related to this keyword. Okay? It doesn't take that long. Let me change the internet and see. You know why the internet is uh, slow? Because all of you are using it. <laughs> and then some of you, I don't know why you are doing it or so. Okay, hold on, just give me a minute. S E C C. And you don't use, let me use. <laughs> because the more people use, the more slower it becomes. Oh, goodness. Good idea. Okay, here we go. So as you can wait for a while, my Google will come up more details for you. Okay, these are the things. So if people are searching for this, make sure that your website is ranked number one. Does it make sense to you? Because so that's how people are searching. So if I scroll up, my Google actually gives you more suggestions like this. This is how people are searching. And if you know how people are searching, and you match what's your business to the number one ranking, you will get unlimited businesses. 
you will be rich, you will be a millionaire, you will be making money so much because these are called passive income. Customers comes to you. Does that make sense? Now, do you all want to know how to get all this? Yes. Want to know? Yes. Pay me la. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I, I don't have in my slides because like I said, I like to tell stories. You go to Google, you type in Google keyword extension for Chrome. You must only use Chrome. Eh? You know what's Chrome? Google Chrome. And then you just click in the first one, you follow the instructions, you can do it. It's an extension. It doesn't work on a mobile. It has to work only on a Chrome extension. So you go back, you follow the instructions, it's very easy to use. Google Chrome extension. And then after you do this, automatically your Chrome will be as powerful as mine. You know what people are searching for you, you know the price of a CPC, and most importantly, you will know how many people are searching on a monthly basis. Is that okay? Good, so you have learned something now? So good, so let's move on. Any questions so far? Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a million because it's very easy to make a million if you know how. And on a, <laughs> seriously, it's quite easy if you know how. On the internet, uh, it's very difficult. I mean, there's so many things, right? So I wanna teach you this, but that again is the sun. Where am I? Oh, I went backwards, sorry. Okay, so bad news is if you're working for people, you'll never be a millionaire. So put it aside, I'll just say that one time. You have to sell and you want to sell one to many. So for example, if you want to make a million one year from today, you need to hustle every single day if you only one product, just one product. So let's say you build one website, for example, and your product is 100 ringgit. Is that okay? Do you understand? Every single day, you need to sell, you need to hustle 28 customers, 28 sales to make a million every single day. Now, if you have 10 products, <coughs> and you only sell in Malaysia, one country, and your product is still 100 ringgit, every single day, you just need to sell to three customers to make a million. That's not difficult, right? Do you know what's the population of Facebook in Malaysia? 15 million people are using Facebook in Malaysia. The whole world is on oyster, the whole world is on internet. You not necessarily want to sell in Malaysia, you can sell anywhere in the world. You just need three customers a day at 100 ringgit. Now, if you have 10 products, I don't know what you sell. You sell ebooks, you sell cookies, whatever. 10 products and you sell to 10 countries. Just focus on Southeast Asia. Every single day, you just need 0 0.3 customer. Basically, you just sell a thousand a day, you will make your million in a year. Does that make sense to you? You just need three customers every single day. I mean, 3,000 every single day, not 1,000, 3,000. That's it. So you just need to sell, learn how to sell, learn how to market. And I want to teach you why is it so easy to use SEO to market a product. Because when you rank, customers come to you, right? Do you like to do sales? I don't. Do I like to stand and talk? Maybe. But what I'm trying to say is this. I'm a very introvert person. In the last 15, 20 years before I started my business, I was doing this and I was very successful. I'll teach you exactly how I do it. Now, do you, have you seen this before? This is Robert Kiyosaki Quadrant. It's not mine, I give him credit, it's his. But I want to share something. He said that a lot of people don't make money, true? I mean, you do struggle. You earn money, you pay for your bills, you repeat this for the rest of your life, and then you die. Business people are rich, successful. But then, in Malaysia, eight out of ten businesses fail. Do you realize why? And when you fail, you have to be careful, when you fail, a lot of people say fail, 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 fail many times, why fail? But be very careful when you hear this statement, yeah? Because if you save your money from 20 years old, your EPF 55 years old, you got 200,000 there, for example, eh? You start a business, six months later you fail. 30 years saving, down the drain, in three months. And you're 55. Do you think the bank will loan you money? No. Do you think your friends will trust you anything with your money? Nobody will give you any single money, and when you fail that up, you're gone, obsolete, capish. But what if I can give you a business model 
that doesn't require much investment. I was just going to point out, as I said, that starting up a business is very easy on the internet. And I want to, you know, emphasize on that. What if you can jump from here to here and have a system that can never fail? Even if it fails, you don't care. You just burn a small money. But most of the time, I would say 80 to 90 percent, you will not fail. You reverse the quadrant now. Instead of eight to nine people fail every ten, you will be successful for every eight to nine people to succeed. Do you want to learn this system? Okay, I'm going to teach you now. So, business plan. This is how I do my business plan. Eh? Business plan, do, work, else make money. But I want to cancel because you're definitely going to make money. And this is how people do business plan. Have you seen a business plan like this? No. <laughs> you don't believe me. Okay, come back to Google. Now, I want you to role play with me. I've got about 40 minutes. Role play with me. If you are a lorry driver, pretend you're a lorry driver. So give yourself a lorry driver uh, character. Is that okay? And I say this. Hey, you lorry driver, you pay me 30000 one year you pay me 30000 I give you back one year business 300000 What do you say to me? Crazy. You crazy some more? <laughs> some more? That's it? You're very nice lorry driver to me. Some of you probably will chase me with your axe or throw shoes at me or curse me, right? But I'm going to show you a simple thing that one of my staff did. Are we okay with um, SEO? So SEO, you need only three things. Can I can I rub this? Sure, can I rub this before you stop mine here? Uh, okay. In SEO, in building a website, can you pull this out for me? My hands are full. Okay. In, in three things you need to do a business. A domain name. You know what's a domain name? Okay. WWW. This is worth 50 ringgit a year. Only buy dot com. Info, bees, or the lawyer, or the funny extension, whatever right on Google. Buy dot com. Hosting is 400 a year. But one hosting can put about 100 domains. Do you understand? So you only invest once a year in hosting. Domain each time. You want to learn how to do WordPress. WordPress is free. Thank you. You know what's WordPress? WordPress is a web design skill. You can learn from me, you can learn from anyone, you can learn from the internet. Within a day, you can build a website with WordPress. Six out of ten websites on the first page of Google is use WordPress. Are we good? So you learn WordPress, it's a very simple tool. Three things you need, that's it. So your investment for a website, besides the hosting, is just 50 ringgit a year. What is 50 ringgit a year? What if I can transform? Every time you invest a website, you will make 20, 30,000 a year, which I want to show you now. Now, this is what he does. says one of my staff is working for me, and he writes for the keyword piano mover in Malaysia. You know what's a piano mover? It's a fancy name to call a lorry driver. <laughs> okay? You see, People do not search for lorry driver on the internet. People will move for mover, for piano mover, because they need a solution to be solved. Do you understand the concept? That is why you need to know how people are searching. So coming to this, piano mover Malaysia, he ranks on number one here. Okay? So slowly you also will see number one here. You just have to write articles like I told you. In this case, he wrote six articles. So four plus, oh, three, sorry. He wrote now one more, seven articles. He's ranking for piano tuning, piano restoration, do you get it? Every single keyword, you wrote an article, like me. And then after that, you'll see the, 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 the ugly red arrow, remember? And then you put your information here, it comes to here. So this is what he does every time. 
one time. He spent three days to wrote six articles at a time. And after that, within a month or two, because there is no competition today on this niche. You understand or not? No lorry driver will pay for SEO, right? So he built a piano mover. He ran every single day throughout Malaysia. He gets about 10 inquiries. And because these are very hot inquiries, his conversion rate is 10 to 30%. Do you understand the concept? Every lorry driver that he works with, basically his uncle, eh? the uncle will pay him 10%. Meaning, if the transportation is 500 ringgit, the uncle pays him 50 ringgit. On a daily basis, the uncle will make about 1,000 ringgit, monthly about 30,000 ringgit, and he gets about two to 3,000 ringgit. Do you understand the concept now? 30,000 times 12 is 360,000 for the uncle who gets customer through SEO. No need to pay on the tree trunk anymore, <laughs> but Google. Do you understand the concept? What does he do? He builds this because there's no competition, he can write this on. So ask yourself, there are thousands of businesses in Malaysia, in Southeast Asia, in the world, that nobody will pay for SEO. But it's so high in demand. Plumber, electrician, locksmith, these are services. How about selling helicopters? Cars, properties. Does that make sense to you? I'm not asking you to find I property property guru. You can't. But people who are users of Google, when you want to send your son to, let's say, Unimas in Sarawak, in Cushing, you will type in houses to rent near Unimas. Do you understand? These are keywords that nobody will rank, and it's very easy for you to do a business. So just invest in this, find a business that you want to do. Build a website, write an article, whatever that I've taught you, this is it, okay? Do you understand the concept? Any questions? So you can build unlimited business. Now, when I was younger, I built this like a monopoly game. I built hundreds, 200, 500, 1,000 websites and make money. How? Some I rank on the top, right? When I rank on the top, I get traffic. I can sell traffic. I can buy traffic. I can talk to any business owner. You know, as a business owner, and I say, hey, don't pay Google, you pay me 50 ringgit a month. That is what I can do. I can sell leads, I can sell customers to businesses. Right now, I don't do that anymore because I focus on my business. And because of one website, I mean millions, I no longer focus on small websites. Does it make sense to you? Because my website is the amount training, that's why I get 300, 400 biggest customers all over Malaysia, yeah? Just to share with you. So, there are so many other business models that you can do. And this is one of it. And once you rank on the first page of Google, you will dominate the market because customers will come to you. He built this in March 2018. I started my business three years ago, and my website is still ranked number one. So when you rank properly, because content is the most important thing, don't talk about yourself, but talk about how you can help people. People want to work with you. Does that make sense? That is where the uncle gives him commission. Now, the uncle is a lorry driver every day, just wait for the customer, just drive what he's good at, and let the cousin, I mean the nephew, do the marketing for him. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you want to sell on the internet is available. So, quickly move on. Now, if you want to go to the international market, Flipa is the best, the best investment in the world. <coughs> When you are making 100 ringgit or 100 dollars, that's not on USD, yeah? when you are making 10 dollars, 50 dollars, 100 dollars, you can go to Flipa and people will pay you, they will beat, you know what's beat? They will beat at least 10 to 20 times the amount of money that you make on a monthly basis. Basically, if your website is making 100 dollars, they will buy 1,000 or 2,000 USD. Anyone know why is it so? Because if every month, remember, if I'm making 100, okay, like if you see business, huh? if let's say my website is making 100,000 a month on autopilot, and you offer me 2 million, how many months will you give me an ROI? 20 months, you understand? <coughs> After 20 months, you can sell the same website, the same amount 
or you can wait for the ROI to come in 100,000 a month, or you can wait five years down the road, and the website will be more valuable, and you can sell it for three, four million. Does it make sense to you? Website is something that is so high demand because more and more people will be using Google. Google is not going to go anywhere. So this is what I'm going to show to you. Where's my flip up? Okay, this is flip up website. You can register for free. You can take a look here. So this is how I want to show it to you. I want to show you some of the websites that you probably also know how to do. So you see this guy, he's making like what? 1,000 a month, but sold it for 23,000. And look at the bids. People actually pay higher, want to pay higher to be in this website. And look at this guy, built a website one year ago. One year ago, net profit 5,000, but sold it at 80,000. This is 15 times the value. Okay, I'll show you one. This Pearly Whites, net profit 281. Now you can probably do this. 281, but sold it at 9,000 with 14 bits. So let's reverse engineer how they do it. Rule number one, websites that you sell, that you build, must be simple, fast loading, straight to the point. No need to talk about us, what we do, our services, our company, nobody cares about all those. So you look at this website here, $9,000. Can you build this website on WordPress? For those who know WordPress, you will say, what the heck? This is just a simple, shitty website. <laughs> and I will click on one of these. And this is the exact format which I taught you. What is the keyword here? What's the keyword here? The keyword is how to use a water pick. You understand? And then you put advertisement here. This is advertisement by Google. You can earn from Google advertisement. You can earn from affiliate. You can sell this to people. And then you wrote a 1,000 word article. There we go. Do you understand the concept? Every single SEO website will write about 1,000 word article. And you yourself know how to write this article. You don't know how to write. Hire someone to write for you. Hire a kid to write for you. Hire uh, you know, someone for five, ten ringgit uh, per article, uh, 1,000 word. What is this keyword here? This keyword is best natural whitening toothpaste. Do you understand how I know? Because I look at this permanent, best natural whitening toothpaste. And that's it. You write that, that's a 1,000 word article. Every single website is built like that. Okay? Now you don't believe me, let's go back. I choose one more. Because I don't have time, I have so much more to share with you. I'll go one more, yeah? Mm. Which one do you want? Do you, you ask me to stop. 20,000, men's gear, 24,000. Men's gear, is it okay? Okay, okay 24,000, making 546 a month. Another ugly looking website. In WordPress, we call it free themes, here. Yeah? So look at this. He built a website on men's gear. And then I click on this. You are telling me it's keyword now. Why is it keyword now? Why is keyword? I'll give you a hint now. Hello, Nathan, perfect life. That's it. He put advertisement on the bottom there. You can see, I'm going to click this. Irritating. And then you wrote a 1,000 word article, you put the this one here. Oh, this one probably you don't really have any. So little. Or maybe I'll click here some more. Okay? Then you continue writing. The very smart guy, he probably put five stores here so that he earns affiliate income. You understand? Some put Amazon, some earn from Google AdSense, some he earn from affiliate income. Meaning when you click five stores, whoever that pays him money, he will promote if you are looking for this hell collector knife. Do you understand the concept now? SEO is a skill, but it's useless if you don't know how to monetize it. That is why today I want to teach you because learning SEO is simple. How to make money is difficult. So this is where I want to guide you and teach you. This is my last slide. So when you do SEO for people, I've done almost everything here. I want to teach you everything. Yeah? You can get a job agency. Today, if you are good in SEO, you will never work for people. But let's say you pretend that you are good in SEO, people will hire you. You understand? <laughs> so you have to pretend, huh? Because if you are making first ranking page, you are going to make unlimited money. Why work for people? 
But if you can do SEO for people, 8,000 to 15,000 is what Jobstreet is paying now for SEO guy. 8 to 15,000 a month, ringgit. You can sell products on your website, like this now, the pen knife guy, or the pearly white guy, yeah, you can sell that. Uh, you can link to Google, you can link to Facebook, you can link to Amazon, you can link to Alibaba, you can link to manufacturer, you can link to your products, you can ask people, it's better. Number three, you can also drop ship, it's the same thing, once you rank, you can just put it. You can do consultation, now I do, I do SEO for people. I charge very cheap on it. One keyword that you see is 2,000. One family keyword, minimum 10. One year, I charge 20 to 30,000 per keyword. You understand? I mean, per family. Do you get it? And then if I guarantee them page one ranking, next month, next year, they pay me half of what I pay. Recurring income. What happens if they stop paying? You stop doing it? I'm quite nice, but a lot of agencies, they'll kill your ranking. My agency, I don't kill ranking, I'll just leave it there. I don't optimize anymore. So that's what I do, yeah? You can also collect agency retainers, I was talking about it. You can also sell white label SEO services to other agencies. A lot of digital marketing companies don't know how to do SEO. In fact, there's only 10 people who can do SEO in Malaysia. You know why 10? Think! Very smart, both of you. Because on the first page, there's only 10 results. So if they're flat do SEO or web digital or whatever, and he cannot rank on the first page of Google, will you trust that fellow to do SEO for you? <laughs> Who's rank right number one now? On digital marketing in Malaysia, e-commerce. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay? You can do services, you can do SEO software, you can do anything you want with this. You can do training. You can teach people how to do SEO. You know, uh, I use, I just finished my SEO class. You know what? Uh, just two weeks ago, no, two, two, two days ago. And people are paying like, what, 3006 Like I said, I'm not cheap. But it was an advanced SEO method for two days. What I'm teaching you, already can rank in Malaysia. Does, does it understand? Can rank already because nobody wants to write 1,000 word article. They see 1,000 word article, they say, I know so much work. That's Malaysian attitude. Which is beautiful because, you understand? No competition. <laughs> so, monetize a high traffic blog, earn commission, sell online courses, do whatever you want. You can make unlimited money with SEO. So, think about it. Be an SEO, learn SEO, remember this. Find three things, yeah? Find keywords, autocomplete. Rule number one, no matter what business you do. Number two, localize the thing. You know what's localize? That means localize the place, yeah? In Malaysia, in Philippines, in Singapore, in Thailand, it's easy to rank. Do not find overseas like American, British, until you know what they are doing. The second one, if you find the keywords already, then if you see certain sites like on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, or all the unauthorized sites on the first page of Google, sometimes you see all those, right? You are guaranteed easy to rank. You just write article, 100% first page ranking. Yeah? So, if you see like Facebook, like, um, I give you an example. Uh, like, um, Slimming Center in uh, Putrajaya, for example. Uh, this, is, this is how you see, sometimes you see or like, uh, my faith, Facebook. You see something like this? You understand? You, uh, all this you see means uh, 100% you write an article, you write number one already. By the way, this is my website. <laughs> yeah? If you want to buy, I will sell you very cheap on it. Uh, during the election last year, oops, it's probably going to hack already. During the election last year, you remember uh, bestlivingcenter.com or my, uh, during the election last year, uh, they were like dividing all the cities, right? So give me a thought, hey, what if I build one website that target all these keywords? You understand something? Target all these keywords. I say push on. They go see what slimming center. There, here. So no? Did you see that it is mine? Huh? I didn't show you, huh? Best living center, huh? you just remember that, huh? And then what if I type in another in another country like uh, uh, I don't know, Cheros uh, Sorry. Uh, give me a city in Malaysia. 
I pay. Okay, thank you. So you will see that I'm still ranked number one for every single thing. It's a joke. You understand why? Because this one is not a good method to do. Don't, it's not a good method because I just changed the title of every single CT. Does it make sense to you? Don't do that. If you want to do, do properly. Now I've been hurt before. But if you want to do Google, do properly. My size, three years, no problem, number one ranking. Sometimes Google drop me for the sake of dropping me. You understand? To number two, number three. That's it. But I will never go out of Google at any time. So what I'm trying to say is this. Go back, reverse engineer this site, and do not do like this. Go back, reverse engineer my site, and do exactly like what I do. You understand? And of course, if you've got a lot of advertisement, mean the keyword is very popular. Does that make sense to you? That means people are willing to buy. So sometimes you rank on number one, you can talk to Nexus, like, hey, say, hey, I know you pay top thousand a month on Google. Why don't you pay me 200 on Google? Does it make sense? Once you're right here, you can do anything you want because you control the internet. All right? So that's it. That's all my presentation. Uh, as usual, I'll give you the slides later. You don't have to ask. And yeah, if you want, I don't know. Uh, you, you just QR code me, I'll see what happens. I don't know why it happen. Um, if you have any questions now, do ask before you go. But if you are shy, and I really don't know what is this because my, my team did this slide for me. I think when you QR code, you'll be invited to my Facebook group or something like that. I don't know. You try it, I don't know what's happening. Okay? Uh, is there any questions before I end? Questions. Last class, I have no more after this. Yes. Ah. No need, copy people is okay. Okay, okay. So let me rephrase that, huh? Because I'm on camera, you know, I'll be very scared. If you don't camera, I'll teach you all bad things. Okay, you see, when, when, when people say about duplicate content is illegal, a lot of people think when you copy people, it's wrong. That is wrong statement. Duplicate content which Google hates means you cannot rank the same keyword twice in your website. You understand what I'm saying? If you're ranking like Sleeping Center in Puchong, you can only write one article. You cannot write two or three articles. It's only one article for that particular keyword. Now, I will prove to you that duplicate content is okay. Because everything I do, I can prove one. Huh? So let's say... Um, um, okay, la, how to diet. La. One of the biggest keywords in the world. Okay? Okay? So I'm going to go for this fella. This is the number one ranking, isn't it? Okay? And I'm going to copy this, this, these three lines here. Is it okay? Okay. I copy here. Eh? And then I put here. Eh? And then you need to know this. What do you call this? What do you call that? What, what, what's that thing called? This one, this one. I always forgot what it's called. There are two things, huh? Okay, then I put it by, 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 by three lines that I copy. So, no. Okay, are we good? You open, you copy, then you close the thing. That, 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 that code, huh? So you can see, I show you, so you, you don't get cheated. Okay, because I missed the T just now. So when I enter this, Google will say uh, about 21,000 searches and you see that Google actually bolts it and everything that you copy. So no. Google bolts everything that's been copied. You understand or not? So this is the command to run Google on who is stealing your content. So if that person is copying other people, or other people is copying that person, how will that fella get page one ranking? You understand? So copying people is okay. <laughs> Having said that, but I don't like to do that because I like to add value. So what you want to do is you can cheat Google, which I'll teach you how to cheat Google. 
You take this, instead of many ways, there are few ways. You start to lose, you change to um, reduce, thank you. Okay? And then, however, you can change to besides. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Okay? And then, and then you continue doing that. And most of the time, it makes you hungry and unemployed. Makes you angry. <laughs> And piss off. Okay. <laughs> I remove the side, I don't care about the fella. I just want you to show this. You enter the fella, you will see no results found. You understand? So just change. Now there's a software to do this. If you want to do it and copy other people, it's called Speed Rewriter. You want me to show you? You got time? Okay, I bought this software. Yeah, you, you can put anything you want. You just click rewrite and click here. So I just I just I just take one. Okay, I just take one like this. Now. This is fine. Okay, I I rewrite. You know, when I was a young kid, I do this for my college. You know, people want me to write for them um, assignment. This is what I do. <laughs> You take this, okay, I'm, I'm making it small so that uh, it's easy for you to understand. One click rewrite, finalize the article. So here we go, you generate a unique version. Now look at this here. Yeah? If you're looking for an e-commerce training in Malaysia, you actually come to the best place, blah, 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 right? If I click generate a unique version, it will change the thing. If you're searching, you have actually concerned to the best area. A little bit grammar mistake, but you understand what I'm doing, right? Every time I click, it will change everything for me. See? See? Did you hear it? So these are softwares that can help you make things easier. Okay, any other questions? Ah, good, good, good question. A lot of people do not do uh, other languages except English. Malay is one of the best uh, secret which she asked me to expose. There's a lot of keywords in Malay because the Malaysian population is more than 10 over a million Malay, yeah, in, in Malay. So Google for Malay, Chinese, it doesn't matter. Let's say you want to sell um, this one on my website, right? I do... Hey. Ah, I need this keyword, Bajurana Muslima. And you can see the same thing. 12,100 searches. You'll make a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? So these are keywords that you don't know. And then you guys scroll to the bottom, the Saya, Bajuruna Mura, Bajuruna Muslima, uh, Bikini, pun ada. Uh, <laughs> Bikini, you know, and then, uh, and, uh, okay, I want to share with you. Sometimes, or most of the time, you see zero, it doesn't mean there's no data. It just means that Google hasn't terminated it, you understand? It's just that Google is still compiling. It's not zero, it's no searches. Any keyword that is on Google means people are searching. And then when you scroll to the bottom, these are the keywords here. So easily I know that the most famous Bajurana is Bella Amara. You understand? I'm not a Malay, I'm not a woman, I don't wear bikini, I don't wear Bajurana, but I know she's the most famous. So what do you do? I think shoot this. She's not here, right? Anyone? Anyone knows Bella? You ran for this keyword. You understand? You hijack the keyword because she spends so much money on branding, isn't it? You hijack the keyword by Google, then you say, um, rating Tujo upon Sepulo. Bajuru Nang Charles Gregory, Seminar per Sepulo. You understand? Sometimes you see rating, right? Uh, review, right? As a third party, all that is my competitor doing one. It's not third party, it's competitor. So you hijack other people, and then you put your own budget or whatever, you give a 8 upon 10 rating. So this will help you a lot, let people advertise on everywhere, you smart, you find keyword, you hijack your filler. Make sense? Okay, any other questions? Okay, last question. How about Chinese? I don't know how to type Chinese, but it was the same thing. You see, yeah? 
Baju berenang, eh, Muslimah You just have to put three things on it Number one On the title, sauna Sauna And then, on the description, one time And then, you may write 1,000 words Now, for Malay keyword, 500 or so, I think enough Because nobody writes in Malay Chinese is the same, so as long as the keyword here is Chinese Your keyword here is Chinese You write a 500 word article, you are done Are we good? Alright? Okay. There's software for it, right? Only English. But I can help you. <laughs> you go to Google Translate. <laughs> okay, it's very cool, yeah? So, Bakula, <laughs> don't let that people what I do. <laughs> Okay. Um, Malay is called what? Eh? Malay, right? Bahasa Melayu, Malay, Malay, M, M, M. Okay. okay, hold on. Okay, you see, uh, I'll give you another hint, uh, another technique. Uh. You, want to, you want to rewrite this, you're lazy or you don't have a software. You take this, you put it here. This comes right. It's very good, you know, I tell you. And then you take this back. Remember, uh, Google Free Service Instantly Translate. Uh. You remember this? Uh? Now you take this in. You put this in, and then you translate it back to English. Do you see the difference? Not much, right? Do you see the difference or not? If you have a, maybe not this word, but sometimes when you change English to Malay, and Malay to English, the thing will be different already. So Google actually writes for you everything automatically. You can try that in Barca, you can see I think it's better. Okay, so this software is free for you, you can use. I don't want to say you anymore. Right? Come on. <laughs> Anyone on the other side? Sorry, Ramadan. Okay. Anyone? One more. There's one person at the back. When you use uh, a software like SpinWrite, it, will it adapt the keywords as well? Ah, the software can lock the keywords that you don't want to change. Oh. Okay. Ah, I, I know your SEO guy, right? A lady. <laughs> okay. One more, last one. That's it. The food is waiting. That's it. That's it? Thank you so much. I enjoyed everything. Thank you. Thank you. Before you leave, we need to take the last group photo. This will be the last group photo of the year. Okay, guys. Do we take inside or do you want to take outside? Inside here. Yeah. Okay. Sit down, sit down. First, come, sit down below. I get my uh, other speaker and also photographer. Okay, excuse me. Yes, 